Welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand protocol, source IP and destination IP fields in the IPv4. So the, uh, the fields of the IPv4, most almost all the fields of IPv4 has already been discussed in our previous videos. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here because uh, those are the concepts which you, which you need to understand. Uh, uh, so which you need to understand please watch those videos and come back here so the discussion about this first row has already been done all these fields has already been explained this field has already been explained this one has already been explained this one uh, uh, was already done so we are left with these three fields and also this option field so we are going to discuss about these three fields in our in this class in this class and in the next class we are going to understand about this options field so now coming to this class we'll try to understand protocol so what this protocol is is a is an 8 bit uh, uh, 8 bit uh, uh, header field so what it consists of the, the protocol field in the ipv4 header contains a number of uh, uh, contains a number indicating the type of data found in the payload portion of the datagram so in the payload portion of the datagram what kind of data is present that is represented by this field so let's try to understand this uh, in a detailed way uh, for example, if we have this, this is the uh, uh, packet that need that is getting transmitted, and this is the frame. Uh, this is frame, uh, and this is a tail part. This is the head part of the frame, and this is the tail part of the frame. And within this, we have IP. So this is our IP. This is our IP. Within this, we are going to have. Within this, we are going to have a datagram, and this datagram is. Uh, uh, this is the data part. So this is the data part that needs to be transmitted. Data part that needs to be transmitted, and to this we are going to have the transport layer header. So this is the IP header. This is the frame uh, in the, of the data link layer. So this this we have we, we have discussed. So what kind of what kind of datagram is present? What kind of datagram is present within this within this uh, IPv4 within this entire packet is what we call it as. So that that is represented by the uh, protocol field and it is represented by using a number. For example, so in uh, in transport layer, we have two different protocols that are there. It is a UDP and TCP. If it is a TCP, it is represented by a certain number and if it is UDP, it is represented by 17. So uh, UDP is represented by 17 and TCP is represented by 6. Apart from that, so this is these, are, these two are the transport layer protocols. Apart from that, what are the other possibilities? For example, if you have, uh, there is an error in the transport transmission we have discussed about this error part uh, icmp internet control message protocol so for that for the response of that error for that response of that error so the uh, the place the the router at which the error has occurred so that router is going to revert back it is going to send the response to the source saying that this is the kind of error that has been occurred so that is another kind of protocol which we call it as ICMP, Internet Control Message Protocol. So if that is the, uh, if if the ICMP protocol is being transmitted, IPM, IPMC packet is being transmitted, that is intimated. So that the number for that ICP, ICMP will be intimated in the protocol field. As we are having 8 bits for protocol field, it is going to accommodate the numbers, the maximum number of the, the numbers that are possible are from 0 to 255 256 numbers 256 different types of numbers are possible different types of protocols are possible uh, within this uh, uh, field okay let's try to understand uh, let's try to see the different types of protocols that are there see here these are all the different types of protocol that are available icmp number one if the protocol field is having one within it it states that it is transmitting icmp protocol uh, internet control message protocol internet control message protocol igmp internet group management protocol ggp gateway to gateway protocol so there are different types of protocols here 
नंबर सिक्स इज फॉर टीसीपी एंड सिमिलरली सेवनटीन इज फॉर यूडीपी सो दीज आर द लिस्ट ऑफ ऑल प्रोटोकॉल्स दैट कैन बी ट्रांसमिटेड नॉट ओनली द डेटा अपार्ट फ्रॉम द डेटा द नेटवर्क इज द नेटवर्क विल ट्रांसमिट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कंटेंट विच इज हेल्पफुल फॉर द ट्रांसमिशन ऑफ डेटा फ्रॉम सोर्स टू डेस्टिनेशन इन एन एफिशियंट वे सो डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ डेटा डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ प्रोटोकॉल्स आर बींग यूज एंड द करस्पॉन्डिंग डेटा फॉर दो protocols will be transmitted uh, within the network so do, don't just think that the data is the data is the only content which is being transmitted between source and destination okay so these are all the different types of protocols see here these are the numbers these are the numbers of the that can be accommodated within the uh, protocol field see here this is last one is 255 this is used for reserved so no need to know about all these uh, numbers and those protocols the very important numbers that you need to know is it is 17 For UDP, six for TCP and ICMP is one. Okay, this is sufficient. So uh, that is that is all about the protocol field in the IPv header four, IPv header four, and the next one is source IP address. As we have discussed a lot about the IP addresses in our previous class, so it is a thirty-two bit address. IP address is of 32 bits. If the the packet that is being transmitted, uh, the packet the the system which is the the computer which is transmitting the data, it is what we call it as source. And the uh, computer which is access which is receiving the data is what we call it as destination. So the IP addresses of the source and destination will get accommodated in these two fields. For example, uh, for example, if uh, uh, the IP address of the source is 10. 15.6.178 dot, uh, dot if this is the uh, if this is the IP address of the source. This IP address will get accommodated in the source IP address field. Similarly, for example, if the destination IP address is 200.7.6.14, so this one will get accommodated in the destination IP address field. Okay, so this is all about protocol field, source IP address field, and the destination IP address fields. Uh, in the next class, we are going to discuss about the options field. So it is going to accommodate. Uh, uh, It is zero to forty bytes. So this is the dynamic part of the IPv4 header. This is the static part, and it is the mandatory part. So all these fields that we have discussed so far are mandatory. Without any one of these field, the data packet will not get transmitted. So every field so far we have discussed about all this part of the header, and this is the mandatory part, and this part is the optional part. And below this, we are going to have the data that needs to be transmitted. So these options is. Going to vary from zero to forty, so we'll discuss about these options in our next video. Hope you got the clarity on this concept. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. And if you have any doubts regarding this concept, please post your doubt in the comment section below. And if you feel that this video is helpful to you, please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited. Thanks for watching.